Let's go this. Uh, in reading the schematic, anybody here who really, very, I know some of you are very good in reading the schematic, but anybody here who is new to reading the schematic and how it works? Yeah. Yeah. So there is a, a rules that we need to follow when we read the schematic. So we call this the conventions. You know? So in electrical drawings, you have an electrical diagram in a pictorial representation of electrical circuit. Various type are used to convey information. So all the symbols there have its meaning. If you don't really understand a specific uh, acronym or symbol, it's hard for you to understand the sequence of operation. So show the circuit operates, how the components are connected, or where they look location as well. So in most cases, components are represented by symbols. You have to understand symbols. So the electrical diagrams can be represented in numerous forms. So this is normally the three forms that we use. So there are block diagrams, wirings, and circuit diagrams. And we, sh I'll show you three of them. Just a introduction, I mean, a small overview. So if you go black diagram, you can see most of the time this one here, you know. Supply, circuit protection, contactor control, overloads, motor. So that's how the flow of operation through the uh, black diagrams. When you go to a uh, wiring diagram, it means that it will show you the specific terminal and the physical drawing of, like for example, this is a, a no, baton, you know. Yeah, so it, it will tell you, yeah, this is the wiring diagram. So sometimes people or some electricians, you know, they, they draw this one. It will, it will show you all the physical, you know, even the screw, the, the termination, and how the, the rotation of this, uh, I mean, the, 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 the pathway of this specific wiring. So that is the wiring diagram. No? But when you go to circuit diagram, this is where we always deal, uh, you know, our work on site. You know, circuit diagram or schematic diagram shows the detailed operation of the circuit in the simplest form. They are drawn to aid the rapid understanding of how a circuit operates, but they give no indication of the physical position of the components, unlike the previous one. You know, it's all symbols. This one, nor they. Nor do they give an indication where the, the conductors actually terminate. All connections are shown in conductors, not an actual terminals. So that is the circuit or schematic diagram. So there is a rules that we need to follow. This is a simple one. So this is an Australian standard. So uh, the standard that we have is AS NZ1102 series. So different standards throughout the world have some manufacturers use their own standard. So when my previous work in the Philippines, uh, different company who orders switchboard is sometimes using ANSI, uh, GIS or Japanese standard, and European standard, which is really, really uh, different if you get used to IEC standard. So this is the normal one and accepted here in Australia. So you can see, normally you read from left to right, and top to bottom, that's it, Le left to right, top to bottom. And again, your power diagram and also your controls. So let's go to the conventions. Yeah. So in order to be able to read the circuit diagram, you need to be familiar with the drawing symbols, you need to know the conventions used representing the formations and electrical drawings. So there are lists of conventions that we need to consider. Like this one here, you know. Uh, when you see how how do you, what does it mean? This is very important here. Yeah. So when you see all the schematic, you have to assume that that one is not energized. It's not working. So it means that if this specific contact timer is connected to a timer like a coil, you know. At that position, that coil is not energized, or a relay, you know. Now, when you, you start reading the schematic in your, in, in your table like that, then you have to rationalize in your mind, what if I got a fault and this coil will be activated? That's the time that that contact will move. 
That's the time that the contact will move. So conductor represents straight, vertical, and so on. All components are represented by symbols. And also, which one? Yeah, this one, yeah. Uh, electrical supply shown left or at the top. If supply is shown at the left, then the sequence of operation from top to bottom, it is called horizontal arrangement, sometimes being referred to ladder diagram. So some PLC, we do that one. So if your supply is shown on top, sequence of operation from left to right. So that's normally what we do when we read the schematic. Lines, conductors, that one is represented. So what else? Push button, symbol as well. Now, this is the one here. This is very important. So on the drawing, there is a rules. The movement of this uh, contact is always moving clockwise direction. Even you put that, you know, lying down like that, the contact will move clockwise. Even standing position, the, the movement will be clockwise as well. Okay? So that's how, that's all the rules that you need to consider when you read the schematic. Uh, this is already the size of, of the paper in a way. So this is the electrical uh, drawings that we normally use here in, in uh, Australia, which is uh, almost similar with IEC. And you have to understand these symbols as well. So all of these symbols, normally we use this in uh, the drawings. When you put them together, that's the time that you can you know, create a specific schematic. There's a number there, there's a lot, but I'll give you a copy later on. Now, so single line, that's the one that I think I've opened earlier. Control. Ah, no, this is the, the, the one from my previous uh, company. So, as what the convention said, all the symbols need to be identified, you know? So these symbols here, the device tag, you can see that all over the place when you look at the schematic. When you see this uh, BC1, BC2, it means that this transformer, you know? BD1, BD2. So you have to go first in the first uh, page to find out what is the meaning of this letter. Because the purpose of the schematic is they're gonna put the simplest uh, symbol to identify the specific circuit. So you have to go here first to identify like EH1 is heater, you know, FB10 uh, circuit breaker, you know, auxiliary contacts, FB10-1 belongs to this breaker, 30-1 auxiliary contact belongs to this uh, control breaker. So all, all of this, you need, you can see this on uh, the second page. Uh, PU means capacity voltage indicator, blocking magnet, Normally, we cannot open the door from the cable compartment because the blocking magnet is, is, is activated, you know, when the bus bar is energized. So let's minimize this one. So that's, again, you can see all this. Uh, that's why sometimes when I do the quotation, I ask for them for the single line because I can see how many breakers, how many CTs, how many protection relays, because sometimes on the phone, you now they forgot something, but if you ask the specific uh, single line, it will give you everything. So it's easy. So anyway, so this is the single line. So you can see this uh, protection relay and the RMS or lockout, trip lockout. Mm -hmm. And there is an interlock, you can see the dotted line, interlock, again QB, that one is on the list. It will identify the main breaker, you know. QE or Earth. So BU and PU. Yeah, so that one as well is on that list. Without understanding this, because different, look, uh, different uh, manufacturers, Schneider, uh, GE, Siemens, they have their own uh, terminology. No? So this is now the bus supply. So if you go here from one panel, left, going to this panel, it means that it will jump to another panel. So this is the bus supply for the 230. You need that one for your heater, your 48 volt DC, 
and this is your another port that it would be C. So if you look at this, this is all you can see that mounted on on inside the compartment. You have a a miniature circuit breaker. This is all of this. If B1, B30, all of that. In order for you to identify, like I want to test the relay, but I want to connect my 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 test leads, but the relay is live. How can I find that? Which which breaker is supplied? So if, if you look at this one here, <clears throat> there is a page number as well where this will be going, and you can see straight away that you have this this group, you know. On top, it means that this line here supplying the circuit breaker spring charging. So some people do test the breaker. Ah, oh, I'm gonna switch this off now because I'm gonna touch the circuit. The control circuit is this one here. So this control circuit means you have trip open and put a specific supply for the protection relay. Now I know this is the breaker that I need to switch off. Mm -hmm. And also all of this is uh, designed for you to look at in one page. So there is also a grading. In Australia, we normally use the the grading like uh, the block. So this is five. And at, at the left side, uh, A, B, C, my, my eyes is not good. <laughs> it's D, eh? So D. So sometimes at the bottom, it will show you that this wire will go to 5D. You know, 5D. You know, if you go to the next uh, drawing, the supply coming from 5D. So this is the guy here. So that's how you understand the circuit. And of course, you know, this is uh, BR02 from the list. It means heater. Uh, uh, sorry, that is the auxiliary contact for the heater. And this one here is the heater one and heater two, which is supplied from 230 volts. So this cable was wired from one panel to another panel. So normally some people, you know, they just try to switch off, look at the relay, if this is off or on or it's not yet, and go to another one. But sometimes, you know, you accidentally switch off the wrong breaker and people from PLC or other people who affected by the circuit will complain. But if you know how to read the schematic, you can go straight away to the drawing. Ah, I just only need this one because I need to wrap out the uh, relay. So I go with this. Protection relay circuit. Now, yeah, just stop me if you have any question. Or you want to break? Okay. All good? Yeah, break. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>